Punahou tennis player Tracy Kunichika dominated the sport in Hawaii, winning state singles titles in 1979, 1980, and 1981. She was ranked number one in the state among all women, including adults, for three years as a high school student. In addition to her prowess on the tennis court, Kunichika was also a champion in the classroom, earning Punahou's Scholar Athlete Award in 1981. I was the varsity tennis coach at the time at Pono School and Tracy came to us as a sophomore and stayed with us until she graduated. She was a very quiet, very shy girl, um, was able to problem solve fairly quickly. Uh, when you're on a tennis court, the match is going on, the points are being played. Uh, she would play matches that lasted a while. so. To be able to problem solve while you're playing, I think, is a very good gift. Uh, she's very quick to figure out what the other player is doing. She can adjust her game. I think she had very good control over her own emotions and able to control the match as she saw fit. She was like a coach's dream. Anything I asked, she would do. She's very dedicated. Uh, she loved the sport. Well, here at Punahou is very competitive. And so you need to be out there working on your game all the time. And there's a lot of good players out there. And so I think that really pushed her more. I think Tracy's run as a state champion is pretty significant. It's very difficult for an athlete to win the state championship, much less three years in a row. Every athlete each year, there's a new one that comes through there's a new opponent that's tough. So she's had to face all of them over a three-year period, and she was able to win every match. In Punahou's history, that's, that's pretty significant. There are very few athletes, much less teams, that are able to win um, three years in a row. Kunichika continued her tennis career at Harvard University, where she competed for the women's team in both singles and doubles play. The Punahou Athletic Hall of Fame welcomes Tracy Kunichika, class of 1981.